we take a look at the tail of the tape for the next fight. Coming out six rounds in the super featherweight division. Weddle versus Weddle. Mario Ramirez take on Eric Castillo. A very evenly matched fight. Mario Ramirez, a Borristeca fighter, fighting here up against Eric Castillo. 12-1-1 one one is Ramirez. Uh, Chris Martin, man, take me through this tail of the tape. What sticks out to you? Uh, not much. They're evenly matched. Uh, the only thing that I do see in Eric Castillo is his opponents. No, Nobody has a winning record, uh, Marcos. They all have a losing record, and he's actually even got one loss in there. So, But I think it's a step up for Eric Castillo fighting Mario Ramirez. Mario Ramirez, we've seen on best in boxing. He's a very good fighter with a good range. Um, and looking forward to an exciting fight. You know, uh, we don't know what Eric Castillo brings to the ring. We see Eric El Huero Castillo making the way to the ring. Only three knockouts to his record. Not the biggest puncher, but his opponent, Mario Huero Ramirez, is not a big puncher as well as he only has four knockouts. Castillo looked to be stepping in the ring and then he stepped out of the ring. I, a little bit of a confusion. I hope uh, that doesn't mean that he's not going to go through with the fight. No, I don't think so. He's gloved up. He's talking to his corner. Not sure what Castillo is waiting on. Oh, you know, let's take a photo for the gram. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, we're in the age of social media. Getting, getting word from a, a truck now that the commission was halting the entrance of uh, Castillo. But he's now in the ring, ready to go against his opponent. Mario Huero Ramirez about to make his entrance in a few short moments. And there he is, Mario Ramirez. Lives in a small town in Mexico from Camalú. Turned pro at 17. Eight months out of the ring. It's only the second time that he's fighting this year. Ramirez took time off as he didn't feel like boxing. He was feeling undisciplined and lazy. So he, he really took time off. And that's a really honest assessment coming from a fighter. And that's the very reason why he wasn't active in 2019. He's also a, a father as well. Just had a kid. So he wanted to spend some time with his child as well. As he is now in, in the ring. Ramirez looking for the 13th win of his career. An entertaining fighter. He comes and he brings it, right, Chris? Yes, Marcos. Every time we've seen Mario Huero Ramirez, it's a good fight, man. Uh, I like watching this Toscano kid fight. You know, he puts on a show every single time. time. You know, um, we're, we're really not too familiar with Eric El Huero Castillo and see what, uh, what uh, Castillo brings to the game tonight. Your three judges scoring this bout on ringside. Sus tres jueces, Alejandro Rochin, Carlos de la Rocha, y Jesús Hernández. And your referee for this side, Ángel Méndez. Introducing the fighter standing in the ring corner. He wears black and white. He officially weighs in 130 pounds. Presentando ustedes en esquina roja, con pantalones de color negro con blanco, con un peso de 130 libras. He stands with a professional record, a near perfect one. Nine victories, one defeat, and three of those victories coming with the best way of knockout. Presenta un record casi perfecto. Nueve victorias, una derrota, y tres de esas victorias por la vía del knockout. Representando Urban Gym, Tijuana, Baja California. Eric El Güero. The ring is standing in the blue corner, where red and silver. He officially weighs in the same 
130 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina azul, con pantalones en color plata con rojo, con un peso de 129 libras. And 14 professional bouts. 12 victories, one defeat, one draw, and four of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un récord de 12 victorias, una derrota, un empate y cuatro de sus victorias por la vía del knockout. El orgullo de Boriseca Boxing, Camalú, Baja California, presente. Mario Güero. con las indicaciones finales su referí Ángel Méndez. Buena suerte a los dos, dos en guantes. Guero versus Guero. Ramirez versus Castillo. The six rounds in the super featherweight division. About to go down. Here we go, round one on the way. Ramirez in the silver trunks with red trim, taking on Castillo in the black trunks with white trim. The first time that Ramirez has stepped inside a ring since April of this year. Took some time off, was feeling lazy, unmotivated, had a child, wanted to get back in there. See if he uh, shows any rust in there. It's been a while, but Giovanni, eight months? Can, can there be rust? Yeah, absolutely. Um, that, and you know, you never know how much weight he gained also. Did he train to lose the weight or he, did he train to fight? Uh, we don't know that. We'll, 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 we'll see how he looks here. Well, it looks like the, the much faster fighter compared to uh, Castillo. It's both fighters now exchanging. Right. Ramirez is always going to come forward, right, Chris? That's yes. just how he is. Yes, yes. That's his fighting style. And um, what I was going to say, I'm going to play a little devil's advocate to what uh, Giovanni said over here. I don't believe in ring rust, um, especially at such a young age like Ramirez. You know, um, eight months is nothing, man. Eight months is nothing. Look at him. His, his body's still tight. He's young, you know, still recovers. You know, um, for our listeners over 30, you know what it's like. I don't have to say anything. Um, well, but, Ramirez said he, he felt it, it was good to get back to training. He said he was really strong in sparring, and he even said that he didn't feel and he rust. Uh, well, well, like there you, you mentioned go. at age 20. Yeah. You're not gonna feel much, you know. He's a he's a young he's a very young guy, man. He started boxing, I mean professional boxing at a very young age, you know, and already stacked up a record of 12 and 1. You know, so um, kudos to him first off. But he could only get better, man. He could only get better and I think the the rest the, the layoff helped him out a little bit. But we'll see right now, right? We'll find out. Well, it seems that uh, Ramirez has been the one that's been initiating the action, throwing the punches. It's Castillo now obliging to engage. It's been a, a bit methodical in there. Seems he's not as active as Ramirez, though he lands a jab just now, does Castillo. Come to the final 30 seconds of this round. Castillo with a good jab, kind of has a, a lullless to his style. Ramirez needs to be careful not to fight at the rhythm and pace of his opponent. Oh, good hook. But answered back by Ramirez. 10 seconds left in this round. The opening. Still to come in our main event, Ricardo Espinosa taking on Andres Guzman. As Huero Ramirez and Huero Castillo finish that round number one. How'd you guys see it? I think uh, Ramirez did the, did, the, did the better of the two simply by just activity, you know. Castillo didn't, didn't do much. 
you have you have to give it to the guy that that, that put in the work. You know, um, yeah. no man did more damage than the other, but Mario Mario Well Ramirez threw a lot more. Yeah, Ramirez uh, got a ring generalship easily. He uh, he was uh, going forward, throwing punches, uh, staying more active. But we'll see if uh, Castillo picks it up the next round. Yeah, that's a big part of winning rounds, man. Just to, you know, just kind of sometimes just just sway the guy who's throwing more. He may not be landing more, but he's definitely throwing more. Round number two here in, in Tijuana, Mexico. Mario Ramirez and Eric Castillo in the ring for your viewing pleasure. Both exchanging. This is what the fans want to see. Ramirez goes down. It's ruled a slip, though. It was definitely a slip, yeah. A little foot tangling there. Ramirez, even though it was ruled a slip, did not like that as he comes forward now. Got the crowd in it. Castillo letting his hands go. Castillo landed some good shots in that exchange there. And Castillo's yeah. had a very good jab, hasn't he, Giovanni? Yeah, he has a really good jab. And also, I noticed that Castillo is sitting down on his punches more than um, Ramirez. Ramirez, sorry. <laughs> um, but it's been a fun, fun, entertaining fight so far. Well, if you guys at home ever get jumbled up, just say Weddle. Weddle's Wedo. the guy that's yeah. uh, winning. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get it wrong. Both go by the same nickname, but both do not have the same record. One will come with the second oh, wow. loss of their career as Ramirez just landed it straight now. It's a bit more active than Castillo. What a what a body shot there, huh? Castillo answering and Cast Castillo with a comes body right shot of back. his own. Yes, you're right. You're right, Marcos. Go Castillo's game, even though he's not as active as Ramirez. He's just waiting to land like a good quality counter. Yeah. yeah, I think he's waiting a little bit too long, you know? And, and it's something that you shouldn't do against uh, Huero Ramirez, you know, because this guy throws, man. He just throws, throws, and throws. And then he throws again. Well, Ramirez is wanting to... Uh, take the next step up in his career. He, he wants to get a visa to fight in the U.S. He hasn't fought in the U.S. yet. All his fights have been here in uh, Mexico, and he really wants to test himself against the next level of fighters in the U.S., and he's preparing for that because eventually he wants to fight for a world title. Yeah, I, I saw that in the, in the interviews that were done by Global Sports Streaming. And Castillo, though, oh, look at this. Nice Good stuff from him. Both fighters exchanging in the pocket. Ramirez clinching up, Castillo pushing him back. So, so I was uh, <laughs> before I was, I was, I was uh, interrupted here. I was um, saying that it's admirable by Will Ramirez the fact that he wants to step up the competition. He doesn't want to stay stunk down here in, in lower level fights in Mexico. Not saying that these guys aren't tough. Not taking anything away from uh, Castillo, but. He wants more, and that, that, that's what it should be. You want more. Round number two, not much more you can ask from both these guys as they both had their moments exchanging punches, and throwing Giovanni through two rounds. What sticks out to you the most? Um, Ramirez is, uh, he's looking for the fight. Castillo is trying to be patient in encountering him, but he's waiting too long. He's waiting too long. He's trying to go to the body. Um, Ramirez is the one, and he's looking for the fight. I, I give him the second round as well. You got to be careful with that, that you don't wait too long yep. where you, you get behind in these rounds yeah. because of the volume and the activity of, of your opponent. So we take a look at the slip that happened in that last round. Both fighters exchanging here. Ramirez did get clipped, uh, though. He got clipped. Yeah, but but from our vantage point, there was a tangling of the feet. But you're right. I didn't I didn't even see that that yeah. overhand right. 
but it was a it was a quick glancing blow. I don't think it would have yeah, put it, him down. It, it was more if, if it did catch him, it was more of a flash because he got up ready to go. Well, Castillo now cornering Ramirez. Yeah. Stiff jabs being exchanged by both fighters in the gut. You see it immediately the uh, the fight changed right now. Castillo's now going forward. Yeah, I, I see the tide changing as well, um, Giovanni. The fact yeah. that uh, Castillo's coming forward and he's actually just, he seems a little bit stronger now. Yeah, so he, he we'll does see. seem more stronger. We still have the rest of the round. Yeah. See, that hook right there by Ramirez was a slapping hook. There was not much power behind that. He has to throw something to keep Castillo off him so he can respect his power. Yeah, we're starting to see a little bit more activity from Castillo, a little bit more movement from him as well. Might have been a thing that uh, he's just now getting warmed up. Yeah. <laughs> Three rounds in, yeah. Sometimes that's what it takes. Oh, Ramirez, he's warmed up, fires off. Yeah. Series of punches just now. He's always with that combination punching, man. Once again, that's why I like we like this kid, you know? He's fast. <laughs> Ramirez yeah. not liking that loop-de-loop -loop that just happened right now. <laughs> Threw a hook there to say, like, hey, man, oh. we're boxing, not dancing. Nice. Castillo coming with the jab. That's his punch. He's going to look to score it as Ramirez Slanting punches and jabs of his own. Just nice. lands it straight just now. Counters. Oh, wow. Three punch combination. Mirrors is looking good. That time off did not work against him. See, guys, he was waiting way too long. See, see for, for everyone at home, us sitting here at ringside, it's easy to say, yeah, he's waiting too long, but as soon as he, he lets something go, something is gonna come back from Ramirez. That's 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 the reason why you don't throw. Because you're you're thinking about what Ramirez is gonna do. Nice body shot, shot there from Ramirez. And Ramirez throws good, solid shots. Four punch combination just now from Ramirez. Good action in this round. Castillo countering. That's a good hook. He follows it up. Oh, Ramirez, wow. though, landing the more powerful shots. Yeah, I think Castillo got either a little bit off balance or maybe he was hurt by that last shot. Oh, well, beautiful hook. Ramirez is throwing everything in these punches. It's coming down to the final seconds of this round. It's all done for this round it's a good round for ramirez it was a good round for ramirez and this is how you could tell marcos when castillo came back to the corner he was upset yeah you he took out his mouthpiece and he looked visibly upset you don't do that yeah i i, I teach my kids you never give them that mental advantage you never let them know that you're mad that you're frustrated absolutely and all that castillo just did right now why not? What what happens, you uh, both you guys as fighters when you see an opponent frustrated like that? Oh man, that that makes me. If I'm tired, I'm not tired anymore, because I just saw that he's frustrated. I just saw he's hurt. Something. I'm doing something that he doesn't like, so I'm gonna keep on doing what I'm doing, and there it gives go. me it's that. A, it's a psychological yeah. effect that you have on the other person. Yeah, absolutely. This You're is gonna some, capitalize on some beautiful work being done by Ramirez. Yeah, Ramirez Castillo. did very well. Though landing his punches as well, but not as frequent as Ramirez. Let's begin round number four here in Tijuana. In our main event, Ricardo Espinosa taking on Andres Guzman. Well, we got a barn burner here between Ramirez and Castillo. Yeah, it looks like Castillo came out throwing more this time. Probably due to that frustration from yeah. that round number three, knowing that he could be down on the scorecards. Ramirez is too fast right now. He's too fast I think he's him. definitely down on the scorecards, Marco. And, and, and touching on that, Giovanni, is yeah, he's definitely too fast for him. Yeah. You know, he's hitting those angles extremely well. That punch looked like it might have stunned Castillo. Castillo smartly holding, trying to slow down Ramirez. Ramirez. Teeing off to the body to the head. 
gets caught with the big overhand punches now by the Castillo. Uppercuts, hooks, a lot of variety to the offense of Huero Ramirez. What could Castillo do at this point, Giovanni, to swing it in his favor? Uh, just pretty much he has to stay, I, I believe he has to stay inside, outside. Ramirez is, is way too fast. He's hitting angles on him. Even inside, though, Ramirez is hitting those angles on him. Um, Castillo has to catch him with something so Ramirez can respect his power and he can take control of the fight more. But right now, Ramirez, Ramirez is completely in control of, of the fight. Chris, how would you nullify the speed of Ramirez? Well, I, I agree with the fact that he needs to stay inside, but I mean, oh, timing yeah. timing beats speed. Absolutely. Timing yep. beats speed. So he's got to time those shots. He's got to be in between those shots, but like Giovanni said, he's got to be on the inside. Yeah. He can't stay on the outside right now. But he's getting worn out, man. He's getting worn out. Yeah. Back to that that uh, that boxing meter, you know, that power level is going down. That oh, oh. goodness, that was a solid. Oh, hit. Castillo right stunned. Both fighters exchanging now. This is where Ramirez has to be careful, though. Ramirez has Castillo hurt, but he has to be careful not to get countered. 30 seconds left in this round, number four. Ramirez taking his time. Stunned Castillo just a few moments ago. Shaking that left hand. Has his hands down, pops the jab, gets out of the corner. And like you said, he, he was shaking that left hand. Usually when you see a little bit more action from, from where Ramirez, so, so maybe he hurt that hand. Seems like he did. So far through four rounds, Ramirez is looking sharp. Castillo goes back to his corner, shakes his head. He's frustrated. Yeah, like I mentioned before in the, in the previous round, man, you know, you, you're showing that frustration. We see it when well, Ramirez sees it. He's capitalizing on it. They're lifting the legs of Castillo in the corner. What does that tell you, Giovanni? He's getting tired. He's getting tired. The punches are starting to accumulate. Uh, Ramirez is... Uh... See the hook that stunned Castillo. He follows it up by three punch combination. Castillo eating a lot of punches, lands his own punch. But all the best punches have come from Ramirez. Yeah, absolutely. All the best punches were landed by, by Ramirez. And it's funny, man, when, when a hook lands straight on your face, not on the side, it was a hook, but it landed right on the chin of Castillo. I think Ramirez smells blood. The crowd behind Mario Ramirez has a big contingent of fans, lands a two-punch combination. It's been all him so far through the course of this fight. Castillo just absorbing a lot of punishment coming from Ramirez's way. And the, the combinations, Marcos, the one thing that I touched on before this fight, before the first bell of this fight started, the fact that Will Ramirez throws nothing but combinations he's finally living up to the name you know we're in the fifth round yes but i mean those those hands are flowing man yeah castillo seems to have gone back to the pace that he had in round number one it's being outworked here giovanni yeah oh cutting shot. shots of the body from ramirez Fouls oh. it up, eats oh, a big hook. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Now in the phone booth, both fighters were as Ramirez takes a step back. That's where Garcia has to work. Seems Ramirez might have slowed down a little bit too as well. Throwing a lot of punches, this is a, a big work rate from Ramirez. 
Oh, beautiful combination there. These are sharp punches coming from him. Digs at the body. Castillo coming forward. Not much mustard in his punches. Not when you compare him to Ramirez. Hey, Ramirez looks sharp. He prepared for this fight. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's he definitely did, man. You see, you see it in, in the in the output. He's throwing consistent shots over and over. He's moving consistently. Castillo looks lost, man. He's not out of the fight, but he looks lost. You know, R Ramirez feels with dedication, with training, he can contend for a world title in these next few years. Time still will tell if that will come to fruition, but he's shown that he has the skills to certainly belong in the ring with some of the top guys in the super featherweight division. It's coming the last 10 seconds of this round. It's been Ramirez moving in and out, throwing the majority of the punches and landing the majority of the punches as the fans behind him once more. And, and once again, Marcos Castillo continues yeah. to do the exact same thing. So we're keeping the camera here on Castillo and the fans at home could see the fact that we could see the frustration on the face, on the body language of Castillo. It's it's not a good look, <laughs> to say the least, right? Yeah, yeah, him going back to his corner, shaking his head and and taking his mouthpiece out like that, that's, that's not a good look. You know, at this point, you got to think that he's behind in the fight. This is Castillo. Yeah. I'm not sure he has the power to be able to put away Ramirez with what punch. I, I don't think so either. He hasn't proved it. Um, hasn't hurt Ramirez once. Um, and neither has Ramirez has he hurt Castillo, right? But but um, if it continues to go, yeah, man, it's a landslide win for, for Ramirez. The thing about it is that Ramirez punches are accumulating and they're hurting Castillo. Yes. That might not be a lot of power behind them, but yeah, a lot yeah. of punches, you know, they're chopping down that tree. You're absolutely right with that one. Here we go, the final round. Ramirez in the silver with red trim trunks in control in this fight. First fight he's had since April, eight months. No activity. It's looking sharp here tonight against his opponent, Eric Castillo. Oh, oh, right. He's exchanging wow. with him just now. That's what Castillo has to do. Go forward and just, just throw a hook, overhand just right. Throw just, and hope, yeah. yeah, one of these lands. There you go. And he's landing. Two punch combination just lands right oh, now. I think he heard him. I think he, he heard, heard him. Weddle also. Yeah. Ramir is obliging to answer as well. Both fighters just throwing just, big punches. See you go southpaw. Go back to order box. Yeah, Marcos, but but like uh like I've said before, man, it, it's a he's a has a crowd pleasing style, though yeah. Ramirez. He was hurt. In my opinion, he was hurt. You called it he was hurt. What does he do? He throws more punches. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't hold, he doesn't back away, he keeps he keeps fighting back. That's like an Eric Morales type of fighter. Exciting fighter. Yeah, man. <laughs> Ramirez <laughs> sticking his tongue out. He loves being in there. He, lo he loves this stuff. He tries to land a hook to the body. It's blocked by Castillo. Castillo should have been fighting like this since the first yeah. round. Oh, yeah. He waited too long. Castillo smartly tying up. Trying to get a little bit of a break. Ramirez comes forward. Gets tagged by a punch just now. Castillo, fatigue setting in. These punches yeah, are coming not, a bit slower now. Yeah, he's not sitting down with his punches anymore. He's arm punching. As Ramirez is just non-stop with his pace. It's a frenetic pace. Yeah. 
fans behind Ramirez. Final 30 seconds of this sixth round. The final round. Castillo, let's see if he can pull something out of his pocket. Very, very gassed now. Ramirez still going, lands a sharp uppercut, follows it up by two punches. Digs oh, in the wow. body, follows it up to the head. Castillo does not like that shot, looks tired. Responds with punches of his own. We come to the end of this sixth round. What a fight, guys. Castillo, though, breathing heavily in his corner. A hard night of work for him. Very good fight from both men. Very good fight. You know, um, I, I think uh, it's, it's pretty obvious the fact that uh, Castillo lost, but uh, Ramirez, eh, eh, but still, I, I, would, I commend him. Great fight because he stuck in there. He tried, it, he tried his hardest, he tried to win this fight. He wasn't laying down, but kudos to Ramirez, the fact that he, he threw combination punches, he shifted his, his body weight, he dug in there, man, every step of the way. It was a very good fight. You know, honestly, guys, I think this is the best performance that I've seen from Ramirez of all the fights that he's had here with us on Global Sports Streaming and Boristeca Boxing and Toscano Boxing. He just looked tremendously sharp, Giovanni. Yeah, he looked extremely sharp. He was um, fast. His angles are extremely well. He, uh, when he got caught, he fought back. He didn't, he didn't hold it or anything. Sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't, but today it did. I, I think uh, the, the rest might have been um, something positive for Ramirez. You know, sometimes it's a detriment to some fighters, but I mean, I'll say it again, man. He's a young guy. He's 20 years old, man. Turning pro at 17 years old. Well, we're going to find out who's the metal, metal, weddle, weddle. There you go. <laughs> Coming yeah. up right now. I believe we have the decision. Let's take it up to Pablo Flores. Let's see who shall win this bout here between Ramirez and Castillo. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. Damas y caballeros, después de seis rounds de combate, nos vamos con las tarjetas de los jueces. No sin antes un fuerte aplauso para los dos güeros, el güero Castillo y el güero Ramírez por este combate. Judge, el juez, Jesús Hernández, he scores it 58 to 56, 58 a 56. And judges Alejandro Rochin and Carlos de la Rocha have the same scores of 59 to 54. Estos dos últimos jueces coinciden en números 59 a 54. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decision. Su vencedor por la vía de la decisión unánime. El güero de Camalú. Mario Alberto Ramirez. There we go, your winner, Mario Ramirez. Man, what a fight, guys. Improving now 13-1-1. One, and one. Put on the best performance of his young career at this point. Hey, he said he wanted to step it up, and he did tonight. Sure, he got the uh, attention of those watching it and those promoters watching. We're going to see big things from him in the future.